I'm just wanna know which side is the best, so a one arm will march from here and another arm will march from here. And so it seems that there's only two positions from which the settlement can be attacked. And if you've noticed, this is our settlement. This is our people. This is how our people live like right there. This is how they live in Hispania. So these are really, really nice looking houses. These houses are just not built from uh, today's bricks, but as you can see, they look almost entirely the same. They have farms, they grow food, and this is what Lustani are truly. They believe in these kind of stone age like shrines. What's special about stone age is that they don't really know how a bunch of like uh, medieval type group of people thought, designed and made it happen that is making these really really heavy rocks and then how did they place them you know, on this circle because they were so heavy they needed to be really really smart. The thing about medieval times is that the way it works is that people there were kind of down to earth kind of people. They were not really that smart. And you probably know how to find food, build yourselves a place to live. You probably knew everything there is to know in the known world. But today, obviously, it's very, very different. And um, so, this is certainly going to be a fight. If they all stack up on the hill, it's going to be a fight for. Uh, Annihilation because they most likely won't have a chance to retreat. Now they do stand a chance to retreat. Our hidden units have been discovered. They know us, they are all stacking up on the hill. As you already know, there's only two entries to exit so that means very few are going to run away effectively okay my cavalry has already engaged and they're going to suffer tremendous losses it's good that they haven't kept them in the fight for any longer in any case I'm sure that they have tasted a victory here and they're probably going to move inwards, but I don't know. I'm sure they should stack everything up on the hill and uh, make a last stand here. But it looks like they have left the force to slow things down here. And so we'll gladly attack this force. Okay. Warriors, move out. It looks like a fight here will start soon, and the first engagements will start on the other side too. So that's a foolish officer here. I foolish because they can't let them to die here with the soldiers. And he's in it, and he's dead. They cut his head off. You can go back on the video and uh, confirm it. I'm sure his head is cut off. Now, interestingly, as you know, they did stop us here for a second. But uh, our soldiers are so good at what they do. We should be able to cut through with these. They're shooting us up. 
Our troops on the hill are getting into a proper position here, as you can see. I just need to wait a little bit until they all get on the hill. Lusitani nobles! And then everybody engages. That's <clears throat> their I'm going to spread my divisions, my brigades, like that, first, as you can see, things are going just fine so far, in here, we're going to march up a little bit, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna issue a move order here, leave one or two brigades to deal with whatever is left out here and so we'll be moving up the hill in here as you can already witness we shouldn't blow above now that we have enough space we can certainly march in forward and uh, now we're fighting on our terms this is good in any case I'm sure that they did a lot more damage than they would have done any other way. So what happened is that in previously we had plans to get rid of these people right there. They had at least two armies by their capital province uh, city. And They kind of got the idea of what's gonna happen to them is that we're going to siege them. And what they did is they left their home city, migrated out of it I guess, and then they attacked the surrounding provinces that were around their capital city, and in turn, They uh, have done a lot more damage than otherwise. Look at that. We are fighting at our own shrine. So this is our own god. And we have blooded these rocks with our enemies and our own blood. Due to fighting. In any case, in here we are going to march in. And... Uh, there's mostly cavalry. This cavalry didn't got engaged. And uh, that's certainly not gonna go well for them. We have taken. Their. Uh, Look at these casualties right here, incredible. And that's all to the range fire. And now we're on the offensive once again. We need to hold the down center for ourselves and start chasing the cavalry units. All over the place. There are still some of the brigades out there that stayed in the fight, but most of them are running. We are all. Chasing them. I'm sure that the battle is won. We just need to weigh this out. <laughs> Look at that, that's one of their Eastern Slingers unit. And that's soon going to be 
surrounded from all sides. Look at that. Yes. Yes, we will. I'm sure they're going to get into a fight before they fully retreat. It's just unclear if uh, we can effectively catch them. Because I don't think we're running, but we're running uh, behind them. I've sent in a cavalry unit. As I said, hopefully it's going to be <clears throat> enough to engage. We have taken the town center, but as you can see, it isn't enough. We need to actually eradicate them. The cavalry is just behind. And so it begins. That should slow things up. Or down. Yes, they got engaged and they won't stay in the fight. Our infantry is just behind. Look at this guy, he's covered in blood. Obviously that's not his blood. But it's close. And that is the end of this. We have retaken our settlement and this will end Parthavas. Uh, idea of uh, creating squash land policy in its enemy's lands. Obviously we have taken them. So we have gladly retaken our own settlement here. Ready for battle. Let's see what's going on here. More buildings. <clears throat> Military disruption attempt. That's what we're about. More nations have joined the war. Forsaken by their masters, this faction has removed its protection from its farm and satrapy. You see, that's exactly what can happen. And uh, without the settlement, I guess, or without proper protection, they have decided to not stay with Parthia under Parthia's control. World of Wonder. You have captured the Wonder. People will come from far and wide to gaze upon it. Oh, really? How exciting is that? Another settlement captured. Oh, look at that. Sword bear. Weapon damage strictly by the commander's unit. Mm, commander's unit isn't that big of a deal. Silk has been acquired. I like that. Truly, a very, very. Intensive year. How can I help? How can you help? How can I assist you? you just move south, that's it. We'll be just fine. Now I'm gonna build up some buildings. I see that I certainly need to do that. They just kind of stacked up. And look at that, there's still Tarsus out there. What else? Three buildings. 
that will make us so much richer. And that's it. Let's see how profitable we are here. Region wealth. In the Far East, there's not that much money, but in the Middle East itself, as you can see, money flows freely. And that's good for us. Our armies are stacked up here at the front line. Another one is coming from North Africa. That's good. On this frontier, finally in the north, we're ready. Warriors all. In here, I need to go in. And I need to give them some more troops. But before that, I need to get rid of more of these brigades, so I'm just giving them. Some more land. Ready for orders. On the move, lads. And that will do. Currently, I'll uh, be making approximately 10,000. Which isn't that much. On our way. Warriors, all. Set up a war and that's after. Will be left I build up. Completely. Ready for battle. To your duty, my warriors. Okay, so these guys can stay in the Sontio. That will make us a little bit more powerful. I still need to build up myself a navy. As you can see, this will uh, unlock the recruitment of heavy raider veteran shield warriors so far we can only have assault raiders if an urban of war breaks out against our greek allies then uh, We'll have some battles out there in the sea. Mostly everybody doesn't like us that has no Greek or like Roman culture. In any case, we never fought against the Romans nor against the Syracuse. So it's fine. There's a few. Of these that need to go on, gonna increase the morale. Okay, so there's still one assigned skill. I should assign the skill due to the fact that if I want, the game will always remind me. And I can't just let it go. Now it's fine. As you can see. Oh, look at that nice percent morale for all enemy units. That is powerful. I like Rome's Macedon's coat of arms. I think it's very well made. I think these coat of arms are really well made.
Soybeans are not finding themselves a place out there, as you can see.